Hello everyone, Sam is here from my first magicweb.com. Uh, listen, uh, okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, in one of my video, I ex uh, <coughs> mentioned that uh, Kiwi dollar is supposed to get strong. We're getting very strong, and then uh, for now, it's coming down, uh, dropping a little bit, a pullback, and then after that, uh, in a certain level, it will be bouncing. And this is where exactly. The chart is uh, it was going up here, but uh, I, I had this drawn, and I, I explained that you know I like to see that if it comes down, uh, uh, hit this level first, and then go up, and that's what it did. Uh, but it's still, it's a danger here unless we see uh, some upside. Um, but right now, it's just keep uh, you know the pressure is to the downside. Uh, we already bounced from this high, but we have this band here. Okay, these highs here, see this one? Okay, so, and that plus the rising TL plus MR2, monthly R2 is uh, 46.13. So, this is the area uh, of, of, you know, it's a trampoline right now. So, let's see what happens, okay? We just have to sit and wait. I send out the chart. Uh, I don't know if this one, Euro index or, or, or Kiwi Yen, uh, but uh, I think Kiwi Yen, right? Uh, let me show you the chart on that too. Because of this, I mean, uh, Kiwi dollar, if, if the index is dropping, means the Kiwi is getting weaker, and obviously uh, Kiwi yen was also dropping. But if it start bouncing from here towards this level here, uh, let me show you what is this level here. Just turn it daily, man. Okay, here. You see that? This is the high. Okay, so if we bounce from here, we can easily go there. Uh, this move need to make uh, equal size of this one. So I don't know. Let's see. Uh, this is uh, the area. Okay. Uh, what if we try um, try to draw a pitchfork here? That would be interesting. Let's whoops you. Two ten. Okay, that one is better. Oh, this one is better, and I think this one is better. Okay, so if this one is better because uh, it goes and hit the central line, see, and uh, it, that's what it does uh, uh, most of the time. It goes and and, and it hits, uh, pulls back, and then it's gonna break it and then go up. So let's wait. Let's wait and see what happens. Okay. Um, Turn the four hour again. Uh, just remember, we need to wait for a bounce. We need a confirm bounce before we do anything. I'm gonna jump uh, right now. Okay, it is coming down. So turn into like a one hour and see what happens. Fifteen minute one hour chart. Uh, if we're gonna bounce, nice bounce from here. Let's see. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Too many candles here. Can make, this is one hour, um, 200 EMA, the red line. And this is the trend line, this is the band, so there's too many. And this is also daily pivot, uh, S2. So daily pivot is this, uh, S1 is this, S2 is this. So, you know, we need to go up. Well, let's see what the market give us, right? Uh, what the index is saying, the index is also saying the same thing. This is what happened in the index. Let me see on a daily. Uh, this is the high. We broke the high and we are testing from above. Okay. If this, you see this, um, this, the formation here is, uh, evening star. Very good, uh, bearish formation over the top. I mean, on the top of the move. But above the support, that's the problem. If it would be below right here, then I will take it blindly. That would be a very strong sign. But this is just a, it's just like a hook, and it is going from uh, it went up above the support. You know, the RBS like resistance becomes support now, and staying on top of that support, and literally, you know, showing us a bounce. So if we bounce from there, then uh, I just showed you. Uh, okay, this is the yeah Kiwi index, right? So 
uh, we're going to be taking long setups if we bounce and start going up nice and clean from this area because I just show you the index it is uh, you know showing a bounce from that side <laughs> this is not only above that level this is also uh, if I show you like a monthly chart you see this uh, draw the fib and this 78.6 that's where we exactly sit in right now 78.6 level coming 86.27 and we are at 86.56 so we are above that level 78.6 okay and testing it actually from the back side of it this is the back, uh, black line 78.6 uh, 78.6 level 86.27 so we need to stay above this okay in order to go up so we're going to be sitting tight and watching it tonight. You guys watch it tonight. I'm going to sleep after this video. <laughs> uh, too tired. So this is it for now. And, um, you know, another thing that I'm, I'm watching is this, this thing. I need a little bit go up and touch this uh, TL and then drop. So uh, let's see what happens. It is uh, this, this support here. And then on the top, you have a trend line. So it is sandwich in between right now. Well, let's see what is the fate of this one. Maybe not this week. Next week, we'll see some uh, movement. I think would be the downside. But you, know, you never know. But for now, Kiwi Yen looks uh, like that it need to go up. It need to go up. And uh, Pound Yen, uh, this was the chart I sent out uh, earlier, right? And uh, said that uh, 170, 39, we need uh, to go down below 39 in order to short this thing. And we are around 170, 45 right now. Six pips higher than this number. So we are above this low here. This is the, the number, 130, uh, 170, 39. So we need to go below in order to come here. If not, then we will go first target this, second this, and so on and so forth. So to the upside, uh, I'll see you later if you go above clearly here and then ready to go and hit the trend line. Then I'll see uh, uh, what other calculation are. But for now, the t you know, for my, uh, my eyes are uh, on the short side. And then uh, we will see what happened tonight. Okay, it is 70.45, yeah. All right, so this is it. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Good luck. And I'll keep you updated.